on fire. Tastes like a shit sandwich in your motherfucking mouth. That goat mouth bitch, you don't know me. I always talking shit about a nigga. Motherfuck, you don't know me, that gospel ass bitch. It's the king of the streets, I'm back of the old school Cadillac. I still articulate rap with that same ass gangster ass rap style. This kind of music can only be found underground. See, niggas are still bound, chained to a racist system. Black power, free the political prisoners. It's an underground movement on the moon like Harriet Tubman. Keep my music street and motherfucking thugging. I can't help my music reflect how I came up. That's rough and rugged, beating the bullies up on the block. So rocks. Shot the block up, why so rocks and got my black ass locked up, shot up, and bitch, you can shut the fuck up, you don't know shit about me, I been through a lot, I did a gang of time, in them prison cell blocks, so bitch, you need to stop being judgmental, you pitiful weak bitch, No, nah, I ain't switch, you the one who think you white, wearing your pants all tight, and fuck your fake ass white Jesus Christ, nigga, I went back and studied that shit, it's all fake, I desire religion to keep niggas in a mental drunken state, ain't going Nowhere stuck in the same place. Bitch, you a 21st century slave. Behaving like a jigaboo. You bleed everything those white is telling you. Look at you, beta black male. Taking dick from a pale face. You fucking disgrace to my race. I'ma stay a black man and a king and a warrior. I destroy all you bitch motherfuckers in war. You don't know shit about me. Got my name in your mouth like you want to blow me. You don't know me. You don't know me, evidently, motherfucker, you don't know what you're talking about. You don't know me, keep my name out your motherfucking mouth. You don't know me. <laughs> yeah, they don't know me. Peace, 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 black family. This is Street Watching TV. If this is your first time tuning in to my channel, please mash up the like, share the video, and please subscribe to the channel. And hit that notification bell down there. So you always be in the crosshair of every time I drop a video. Fam, um, I've been dealing with a particular information, dealing with uh, a situation that happened in Cleveland um, with a sister who came up missing back in November. Um, it's a story that I've been putting off because I've been dealing with some other um, things in my personal life. So certain videos I've been dumbing down on, but now I'm about to drop this one on y'all. Cause this one was close to my heart. It kind of made me feel a certain type of way. And I've been dealing with some information that I've been getting, uh, fam. And I want some people who's tuning in tonight. If you got a comment or you know anything dealing with this particular knowledge that I'm, I'm speaking on, please let me know. Be free to leave comments below. You know what I'm saying? I'm not tripping. You know what I'm saying? You might disagree. I don't care. I just want to hear some feedback on this particular thing that I've been studying. I've been studying that. I know the Ku Klux Klan, the KKK, was built on the foundation also with a Masonic origin. And a lot of things in this 
world has Masonic origin, its foundation, um, to the gang situation. I've been getting information that some of the gangs, I'm not going to say the particular sets, but some of the gangs uh, in America, black gangs, were infiltrated, I believe, by Masons or Luciferian doctrine. Even some of the signs and symbols uh, coincide with Luciferian uh, signs and symbols. I don't know if that's true, but I've seen some of the signs and they do correlate. But just because one particular sign means something for somebody else don't mean it's the same. You, you see what I'm saying? Like a certain particular star, like the Star of David may mean something to the white Jews and some different to the gangster disciple. But People saying that it's all under a Luciferian doctrine. And I've been wondering why there's so much bloodshed amongst our people. I thought it was just something tribal. Maybe tribal is something Luciferian. And where I'm going with this, uh, peeps, this is where I'm going with this. This particular sister was named Alicia. Uh... Alicia, what's her last name? I want to be um, Alicia. I had to wrote down here. Alicia Pointer. Alicia Pointer was her name. She was only 22 years old. Now keep in mind, they found her body in a burnt building in East Cleveland. Let me go back. So I want to get you people up to speed who don't know nothing about this. Okay. This sister was kidnapped November 5th. She lived in a little town or a little city outside of East Cleveland called uh, Rando, North Rando, North Rando, okay? This happened. So crazy, y'all. They kidnapped. Her friend, who lived in East Cleveland, and they tricked her into getting the sister out of the house so they can kidnap her and drive her to East Cleveland. Gets bizarre, fam. They drive to, like, different locations and torture this sister. Take her out the car somewhere, torture her. Take her back to the car, torture her. Then, subsequently, subsequently, they kill her with gunshot wounds and throw her body in a bandit, burnt down house in the basement. It gets crazy. There were eight people involved with this particular homicide. The youngest person that was involved with this homicide was 17 years old, black female. These was all black perpetrators. Yeah, all black perpetrators. So we could talk about what the white man does and what he do. What do we do? We turn back around and kill each other. Is, is this a Luciferian doctrine among the gang bangers? Is this why they do so much killing and bloodshed and don't have a... Uh, and don't have a sense of uh, sentimental, you know what I'm saying? This sister was killed because someone thought she had information on another killing that happened in East Cleveland. And the information that I've been getting is that she didn't have no acknowledgement of what the hell they were talking about. Since so she couldn't give them information, they killed her. They let her friend go. They tricked her friend to get her out the house. It was a tip that law enforcement got to this abandoned house in East Cleveland where they found her body. Fam, what the hell is going on? 
Fam, what the fuck is going on? Check this out. We got to look at this, y'all. This is the real crazy shit about black people. We living in a fucking pandemic. And it's not a gimmick. It's killing our people at a fucking alarming rate. So you mean to tell me we going to benefit white supremacy? No. Bene white supremacy is going to benefit like killing two birds with one stone. We dying in a pandemic. They trying to get rid of us, but we killing each other during a fucking pandemic. I mean, that's got to be the dumbest shit to be going on right now. Black on black crime right now should be the most dumbest, wackest shit going on right now. And your ass living in a new age. And you still cannot unify. You still want to go out and hurt your people. It's gang banging. I don't know. The fuel that ignites gang banging, could it be a Luciferian doctrine? There were eight people, even black females. How can you call yourself a man killing the black woman? How can you call yourself a man, a civilized man, killing the black woman? When you kill a black woman, you kill a black nation. Because from that woman, that black woman is where the black nation come from. So killing our women off, you stopping the rise of our people. Dying over some information you thought she knew? Let me tell y'all something, fam. I don't know if this gang banging shit is fueled by Satan, but it is some satanic stuff to go on. We should have learned from our ancestors who collaborated with the white man and sold some of, and sold some of us into this hell house. It was a small percentage of Africans who were warriors who won a war against a particular tribe did sell Africans into slavery. That's true, but a small percentage. So when they invented the gun, the African was subjected to murder. And let me tell you about the other thing. The European did not go into Africa, into the middle of Africa, until later on in life when he got enough weaponry and enough Negroes that collaborated with him to take him into the middle parts of the central parts of Africa. You know, because the, the white man was scared. He was by the sea, the Mediterranean, where he could catch, you, catch brothers and sisters that they, they got away from the uh, the deeper parts of Africa. You feel what I'm saying? So the niggas that they helped catch black people, could they be part of a Luciferian doctrine back then? I don't know. Because Luciferian doctrine to me don't come in until the Greeks come in. Did the Greeks come in? When Greeks went into Egypt, they bought a Luciferian doctrine, trying to turn the, the, the Egyptians into the, the, the homosexual, which was against, you know, the, the comedic way of life, you know. So this sister was only 22 years of age. What would make you... Be that senseless to murder her like that, man. Her, she got a family. We don't think about the family when we be torturing other people. We don't think about the grief that their family might be going through. Have you watched black people be tortured enough? We've seen black people torture enough. And we want to turn right back around again and do it all over again just like the white man. How can we talk about the Asian, what they do to black people. How can we talk about the, the uh, Arabs, you know, 
all these people hate black people, Mexicans, everybody hates black people, then we turn around and assist everybody else. I've seen a video, and it, and it hurts my heart, man. You feel me? I saw a video. These be these bitch gangbanging niggas that I'm about to talk about. I saw a video on YouTube, a real video of these prisoners and like in a, they was like in the bullpen. And you know how the cells be up there? And they like in the bullpen, the day room. They all walking around kicking it. The white boy, he's in the game with the brothers. White boy picking with an older dude. And guess what happened? See, this is how fucked up and retarded black people is. I don't know what penitentiary this was, but this nigga was in violation. The white guy and the old older gentleman, black gentleman, have a disagreement. So they go to the cell like gentlemen and handle their fight. Don't you know brothers got up and went in there and helped that white man, that white boy, kill that black man? See, we be riding on our own people, man. How can you talk about the European when you practice the same genocide against your motherfucking people, nigga? See, we don't only got white devils. You got black devils, too, so don't get it twisted. Don't get it fucking twisted. We got black devils among us. Indoctrination. You know, being around your oppressor and watching your oppressor do these evil things. Now you want to be like your oppressor. I'm not going to go off into this satanic stuff that I think that's associated with gang banging because I could be wrong. I want somebody to leave the comments below. But I've been getting this information that's been coming at me. You know, bits and pieces, you know what I'm saying, of the puzzle. Like, what the fuck is going on with the black neighborhood? I can understand the tribalism. Man. I can understand it. But right now, during a fucking pandemic, where our people are dying, getting killed by cops, getting medically, you know what I'm saying, killed by the doctors and nurses who's racist, that happens in America and throughout the world. We got bad medical treatment. The majority of us get bad medical treatment just because a few of us get good medical treatment from the white doctors and Arab doctors and the Indian doctors and the African doctors and the black doctors. The campaign is to kill black people. So you may have a small percentage of us that good that get uh, good health care, but the majority of us are treated worse than a fucking dog. True stories. But we want to turn around and assist our uh, oppressor in, the, in the, the, the annihilation and extermination of our people. You kill a black woman, you kill a nation. You know what I mean? Alicia, Pointer, rest in peace. You know, rest in peace. You know, we're going to keep your name alive. And, you know, my uh, sympathy, empathy, you know what I'm saying, condolence goes out. Condolence goes out to her mom, her, her dad, and her whole family. You know what I mean? It's a shame, man. But, you know, these same gang members, I used to watch them in the joint. You know what I'm saying? And uh, some of them dudes work for the CO. If the CO want a particular individual hit, these niggas will take the hit for the CO. For real. A lot of attacks you hear on uh, child molesters and different people is infused by the COs. The COs do all the killing. They do a lot of killing. Now, I'm talking about the correctional officer. When I abbreviated CO, correctional officer. Yeah, they are just as, just some evil motherfuckers. And the half of them are part of the fraternity. You feel what I'm saying? So it's gang members and gang bangers who don't know. 
the gang organizations. Do some of them know that Lucifer is the one infused their uh, organization and their behavior? Could this be the case? Was this a ritual for eight people to kill one particular woman? Women? I think there was two or three women involved with this. Women killing women? It took eight people? To torture? We got it got we got it we got it bad, black people. We got it bad. We got it bad. We fucked up. You know. There there were black people in nineteen oh eight. These called a the boule. Black, prominent, uh, black people, prominent black women, the uh, the uh, hierarchy of the uh, of the black people in this country. I'm talking about the ones who went to college with the PhDs and all kind of degrees. Um, the ones who rub shoulders with the hierarchy of Caucasian race. Uh, when they practiced the Luciferian, there was people in 1908 who wanted to be part of this Luciferian doctrine. And I know Luciferian killed Martin Luther King, but we got to understand more, a lot of, of prominent scholars, they all went through this fraternity. But a lot of people who went through the fraternity that woke up, can they actually break away from the Luciferian life? Could someone from the boule started the gang in LA, the gangs in Chicago, the gangs around the world? Because I think L.A. and Chicago were like one of the big major uh, black gangs when it first started. But we know white gangs existed before black gangs. I want y'all to understand in this country, you had the Irish against the fucking Italian, the Jews against the Italians. So these were gangs in America before black people, you know, was free so-called free in America. We was on slave plantations and these motherfuckers was beefing. You know what I'm saying? They been beefing. Now that they all came together, run the court system. You see what I'm saying? The Jews made the motherfucking uh, handcuffs, you know, the shackles during slavery. A lot of people don't know that. Yeah, they made that jury for us. You know, that chain that you rap about. You feel that chain you want to put on your neck and you want to uphold the chain. You know what I mean? But that chain is on your brain. And this is why I came to this motherfucking channel tonight to drop this hot shit. You feel me? You know, we got to um, heal, man. We gotta heal, man. We sick people. We need a, uh, we need a psychologist, man. You know, we don't need to be up on. We don't need to be on no psych, psych or psych medication, uh, none of that kind of shit, man. The truth is enough medication that a nigga need, but a nigga gotta be able to accept and swallow that motherfucking truth. You know, that's the medicine that you motherfucking need. That medicine of the truth. You know, they arrested these people. Who kidnapped this sister? And uh, they got to pay. Be the same dudes in the joint, man. I see them working with the COs, like I said before. 
they kill for the COs. They run the telephone for the COs. In the day room, when you got your day room and shit, you're allowed to go to the phone. They got a phone monitor, you know. And then he'd be a gang banger. And the COs get him to keep shit in line, just like Sambo on the, on the slave plantation. Sambo be the nigga with the muscles, the, back, the darkest nigga in there. Got hands on the plantation. The slave master used him to keep all the niggas in check. You get out of line, it'd be the big black Sambo who would beat you with the whip for the white man. These niggas be in the joint. They tough out here on the street, bruh. They be in the joint. Yes, man, for that motherfucking correctional officer. You feel what I'm saying? A lot of them. Fuck up running the damn phone monitor. Run your own phone. Street watching TV, man. Mash up the likes, man. Share the video. Streets watching.